Welcome to part 5 of how to use Evernote to raise your grades. This video will be on note editing. Like in all of these demonstration videos, I'm going to open Evernote from my desktop and maximize the screen to make it easy to see. Okay, I'm back in the Castles notebook that we made in the last video, and I've got four different notes about castles. All of them, by the way, have been taken from the Wikipedia page about castles. Nothing spectacular, just some quick notes I added for the purpose of these videos. Let's go ahead and edit some stuff in this first one here. For instance, I don't need these extra footnotes in the note, so I can backspace those and take them out of the note. There's another one here, and I can take that out without losing any important information. The note editor in Evernote works great for simple stuff like this, but if I wanted to do some more serious note editing, what I can do is double click on the blue note in the middle pane. That opens up a new window with the same note in it. This note editor has a whole lot more options. You get bulleted lists, numbered lists, check boxes, you can put in small tables, add attachments or voice recordings, you can change the notebook that it's stored in, you do all those different things from this note editor. Let me show you another example of a note that I created with a checkbox list. See this list here is just a list of office tasks that I need to take care of and you can see I can check off these tasks as I finish each one and that's a great way to keep track of your stuff like I said, these notes will be synchronized across all of your Evernote-equipped mobile devices, such as an iPhone or laptop or iPad, so you really won't lose these notes. You can keep this list with you wherever you go. That's it for this quick video on note editing. Hopefully you understand how to edit notes better now, and in the next video I will demonstrate proper ways to title and tag your notes.